Hey there, this is Santi, and today I want to share with you one of the coolest plugins in Obsidian that I've seen so far. This is not only super aesthetic, but extremely functional. So what it allows us to do is create like Trello style boards. These are called Kanban boards. It's just like places where you can have a list and you can have individual cards, usually for to-dos or for projects, and you can drag them across. Let me just show you. It makes a lot more sense if you see it. So yeah, I'll walk you through it, how to set it up and some of the pros and cons about using this. But right now, let me just show you what it looks like. So in Obsidian, if you just open the command palette, which in my case is done with Control P or Command P in Mac, and you search for Kanban, create new board, you're gonna press enter and you're gonna have instant access to this amazing thing. This is what is created. And you can start just writing to do, maybe done, which is an example of a basic Kanban board that you can create. And now these cards, you can be items that you want to do. So let me just fill this up with more examples just to demonstrate. And now you can drag and drop them across. It's crazy. You can just drag them. It's so responsive, so easy to use, and it just works. It's amazing. And for instance, you can customize it with different themes. So if we go to appearance and browse, we can check a theme like, oh, this one that I created, for instance. <laughs> and I think it looks pretty cool with this one. This one is Wasp. And yeah, I like how it looks with this. So you can move it around and it's just super responsive. So I'm super happy with the way it works. You can drag this list and yeah, it just simply works. So the question is, does this replace any other applications that you use for task management? The pros and cons will be discussed at the end of the video, so stick till the end. Right now, I'm just gonna show you how it works and of course, how to set it up. So if we just go to settings down here, we can go to community plugins, browse, and you can just search here for Kanban, just like that. And now you install it like any other plugin, you just click on install. And now you need to make sure that you turn it on. So you scroll down in here and you search install plugins. This is important, otherwise it simply won't work. So make sure you search for Kanban, just like that. And now turn it on and it should work. So now from anywhere in Obsidian, if you open the command palette, command palette again, with, again with Control P or Command P, now you can search for Kanban, create a new board, and there you go. By default, it's gonna be called Untitled Kanban 1 or Kanban 2 or Kanban 3, whatever, how many Untitled ones you have. You can rename that, of course. And in here, you just can start writing a list. So again, like to do um, this here, maybe, you know, like, and, and done. You can just drag and drop very easily uh, everything that you create inside of it. And again, like here is like the, the example. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you go to the top corner right here and you open as Markdown, you're gonna be able to see the Markdown file that creates this. So it's really interesting because you open it like that and you have all of these lists. You have done, you have maybe, and yeah, you have to do them there. And you can move these ones around and it's gonna change the way it looks. Now, this is what creates at the very top. Now, by default, it's only gonna say Kanban plugin basic, um, but there's also another functionality like a template, which I'm gonna show you how that works because it's really interesting the, the, what it does. So if we open this back, we can go to the top uh, you know, three dots that allow us to, to open the board settings. And if we open this board settings right here, you're going to see that you have a place for, well, a couple of settings, but right now we're going to focus on note template, right? So let me just exit out of that. And right now let's just create a new file. I just press control N to create a new file. And we're going to call this board template example one, just to show you. And I'm just going to page some information here like that. There you go. And yeah, so now that is a template file that we're going to use. So we, if we go back to board settings, you can select that file. So you just write the name of the file that you want to use as a template. And this is going to be specific for the board that you're creating. So this setting is not for every Kanban board that you create in the future, but rather is a setting that is going to work for this specific board. You'll see what I mean in just one second. So now that that has been set, you can go to more options for any specific one, like shower in here, maybe. <laughs> and if you just click on it, you can do something like new note from card. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to create a new note, a new card. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just an, a note out of that card. You're going to see how that works. It's really, really cool. So once you click on that, it's going to create this actually, you, you know, like this file out of the template. So we're just going to paste everything that is in the template. And in here, you can, of course, start writing and answering the questions that you might have or like filling up the information that you want to fill up. And there you go. So yeah, that's how it works. If you close this, you can see that this is a link. So if you click on it, it's going to open that again. 
So you can edit any of these cards and you can actually link them to other nodes that you have in Obsidian. So this not only is a really cool Kanban board experience where you can create all these nice lists and drag them around, but also it leverages a lot of Obsidian's core functionality such as links and you can even do tags, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, so, you know, you can do all types of things like that. And again, in board settings, if you go down here, you can see that there's a couple of things. Node folder is in case if you want these new cards that are being created to go to a specific folder, or if you just, you're okay with just them going to the default uh, root folder, which is like right next to all your nodes. So without a folder, just like a node in your Obsidian Bolt, right? So it's really up to you if you want to use that. I don't really see much need for it, but down here you also see that there's a lane width. So this one's interesting because it allows you to customize the way that the list look in this board. So if we just put 100, for instance, you can see that everything becomes a lot more compact. And if we go back to open board settings, you can write a bigger number just to test and you can see that now things are a lot larger like that, right? So yeah, that's basically it. If you delete it, it just goes back to the default, right? And node folder is what I was telling you about earlier. Yeah, that's pretty much it with this. Now, if you create, say, like another one right here, this is something that I might use it for. Let's just say for films to watch. That is something that I think would be something I'd definitely use this for. So right now, let, let me just show you a bit of an example. And in here, let's just, you know, let's just write to watch and to rewatch films that I want to rewatch and films that I've already watched, right? I can keep track of that very easily. And I'm gonna write a couple of films in here. So let me just fill that up with a lot more. And in here I can drag and drop and it's really, really useful. You know, you can just move things around really easily, films that you want to rewatch, films that you already watch and so on. And you can also edit cards just like that by pressing on that and you can tag things. So for instance, in here, I want to tag it as Saga because I know it's like, a, you know, a lot of films to this world, this story, like Star Wars and Harry Potter, of course. And now if I click in this, you know, I'm going to be able to, well, if I just drag it around, if I click on this, I'm going to be able to see the films that have been tagged with this thing. And as you can see around, I have like different, different like tags such as Oscars from different years and so on. I'm in here, I'm actually using uh, tags in, in a way that I can just do nested tags. So nested tags are just like you have a tag in here and a tag that belongs to that. So you can do things like this, like Oscars slash, you know, like 2021, for instance, or whatever, something like that. So yeah, again, I can just move these things around and it just works. I mean, I'm super amazed that this even works in Obsidian. And if we open this as a markdown file, just to see what's going on, you can see that this is what it looks like and that's it. And yeah, I mean, you can play with some of the other features that are here, like when you click on more options and so on, but that's basically it. That's how it works. Now, I mean, huge shout out to the creator of this, to Matthew Mayers, Matthew May Mayers for doing this. It's, it's really amazing. And in here you can definitely see more information about it, like some screenshots and so on, and just how things work in general. But yeah, I mean, I'm really, really amazed that this is working. It's also cool to see because you can see some information here about like what are some of the things that are still yet to be implemented and what has already been implemented. So yeah, this is just a roadmap, which is really cool. So the question that all of you are asking is, can I use this for a to-do system, a task management system where I have like a huge board and I just control everything from one file? Maybe. It's really up to you. If you think that's something you want to experiment with, definitely go ahead. Now, personally, I'm still using a couple of other applications and a couple of other techniques that actually interact with Obsidian in a really cool way. I'm definitely going to be making more videos about that. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested to figure out a better system that works for like your whole test management system. However, this plugin, I'm definitely going to be using it for things like what I just showed you, like a films to watch list or like books to read. It's definitely really cool to be able to just drag and drop things easily. And of course, because inside of Obsidian is a markdown file. And yeah, super excited for how this plugin is going to keep evolving, hopefully. So yeah, those are my thoughts on that. And yeah, with that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still new to Obsidian, do check out my course. That is the best way you can support my work. And it's going to walk you through the fundamentals of Obsidian. You can check out more in here about like what videos I've already made. And yeah, like what are the specific lessons that might help you get a better grasp of Obsidian. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.